Twentieth Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God who waits on us. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18 We must not only think of our waiting upon God, but also of what is more wonderful still, of God's waiting upon us. The vision of Him waiting on us will give new impulse and inspiration to our waiting upon Him. It will give an unspeakable confidence that our waiting cannot be in vain. If He waits for us, then we may be sure that we are more than welcome, that He rejoices to find those He has been seeking for. Let us seek, even now, at this moment, in the spirit of lowly waiting on God, to find out something of what it means. Therefore will the Lord wait, that He may be gracious unto you. We shall accept and echo back the message, Blessed are all they that wait for Him. Look up and see the great God upon His throne. He is love, an unceasing and inexpressible desire to communicate His own goodness and blessedness to all His creatures. He longs and delights to bless. He has inconceivably glorious purposes concerning every one of His children by the power of His Holy Spirit to reveal in them His love and power. He waits with all the longings of a father's heart. He waits that He may be gracious unto you. And each time you come to wait upon Him or seek to maintain in daily life the holy habit of waiting, you may look up and see Him ready to meet you, waiting that He may be gracious unto you. Yes, connect every exercise, every breath of the life of waiting with faith's vision of your God waiting for you. And if you ask, how is it, if he waits to be gracious, that even after I come and wait upon him, he does not give the help I seek, but waits on longer and longer? There is a double answer. The one is this. God is a wise husbandman who waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it. He cannot gather the fruit till it is ripe. He knows when we are spiritually ready to receive the blessing to our profit and His glory. Waiting in the sunshine of His love is what will ripen the soul for His blessing. Waiting under the cloud of trial that breaks in showers of blessing is as needful. Be assured that if God waits longer than you could wish, it is only to make the blessing doubly precious. God waited four thousand years till the fullness of time ere He sent His Son. Our times are in His hands. He will avenge His elect speedily. He will make haste for our help and not delay one hour too long. The other answer points to what has been said before. The giver is more than the gift. God is more than the blessing, and our being kept waiting on Him is the only way for our learning to find our life and joy in Himself. Oh, if God's children only knew what a glorious God they have, and what a privilege it is to be linked in fellowship with Himself, then they would rejoice in Him. Even when He keeps them waiting, they would learn to understand better than ever. Therefore will the Lord wait that He may be gracious unto you. His waiting will be the highest proof of His graciousness. Blessed are all they that wait for Him. Our Queen has her ladies in waiting. The position is one of subordination and service, and yet it is considered one of the highest dignity and privilege, because a wise and gracious sovereign makes them companions and friends. What a dignity and blessedness to be attendants in waiting on the everlasting God, ever on the watch for every indication of His will or favour, ever conscious of His nearness, His goodness, and His grace. The Lord is good to them that wait for Him. Blessed are all they that wait for Him. Yes, it is blessed when a waiting soul and a waiting God meet each other. God cannot do His work without His and our waiting His time. Let waiting be our work as it is His. 
and if his waiting be nothing but goodness and graciousness, let ours be nothing but a rejoicing in that goodness, and a confident expectancy of that grace. And let every thought of waiting become to us simply the expression of unmingled and unutterable blessedness, because it brings us to a God who waits that he may make himself known to us perfectly as the gracious one. My soul, wait thou only upon God. End of Twentieth Day